James Dean was a famous 1950s actor who became the poster boy for adolescent rebellion due to his fast lifestyle and typecasting as tough but sensitive bad boys. Dean tragically died in a car accident just as filming on the film Giant Rap, killing one of Hollywood's brightest stars before he had a chance to ascend. Despite being a very straightforward case, myths and suspicions continue to swirl around the actor's untimely death to this day. Let's discuss his death. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. James Dean's Death Despite working successfully as an actor throughout his 20s, James Dean had never given up a second lifelong passion, motor racing. Dean competed in the Palm Springs Road Races and the Santa Barbara Road Races the same year East of Eden premiered. He had also purchased a brand new Porsche Spider dubbed Little Bastard, which he intended to race in the Salinas Road Race in California. Dean had planned to have the Porsche transported to Salinas on a trailer, but decided at the last minute to drive it himself. On September 30, 1955, the Hollywood star drove Little Bastard to Salinas with his technician, Rolf Witherich. Dean was pulled over for a speeding penalty at about 3.30 p.m., ate at a diner at 4.45 p.m., and then got back on the road. Dean spotted a Ford approaching his automobile as it prepared to make a left turn at the next intersection at 5.45 p.m. The two automobiles crashed head-on after Dean allegedly reassured Witherich. The Ford rolled down the highway before coming to a stop, and its driver, Donald Turnipspeed, 23, escaped with minor injuries. The Porsche, on the other hand, twisted in the air before coming down to earth with a horrific crunch and rolling to the side of the road with James Dean still inside. Witnesses raced to remove him from the crushed metal corpse, but were shocked to see how twisted he had become as a result of the incident. The cause of the incident is still unknown, turn-up speed was never punished, and eyewitnesses swear Dean was not speeding despite his previous ticket. Regardless of the circumstances, James Dean was pronounced dead shortly after 6 p.m. at Paso Robles War Memorial Hospital. People believe Dean planned his death. HuffPost highlighted one of the more popular Dean conspiracies, with supporters believing that the automobile crash that put his passenger mechanic Ralph Wilrich in the hospital could not have killed him. As forensics experts, they believed that the car was not driving fast enough to break Dean's neck, as the coroners who inspected the body reported. The actor allegedly did all this to just go and have a normal life, presumably deciding that crashing his car midway to the race in Salinas he was planning to compete in would be the perfect cover. In reality, speculations like these are more likely a reaction to Dean's untimely and terrible death. Even in his brief acting career, he'd been a hero to children all over the country, so the concept that he just vanished to become just another face in the crowd was a lot more reassuring than learning how random and cruel life can be. Dean's car had its own set of conspiracies. Not only is Dean hounded by conspiracy theories surrounding his murder, but even his car cannot escape this legacy. Motor Biscuit discusses Dean's Porsche 550 Spider that night, highlighting its relation to multiple documented and suspected incidents following its owner's death. Dean's insurance company acquired custody of the Spider after the incident, only to dump it in a Burbank salvage yard. It was purchased there by a doctor called William Esseridge, who planned to install the Spider's engine in his racer. He also removed the car's transmission and gave it to a buddy and fellow racer, Tom McHenry. The two raced together in the Pomona sports car races a year after Dean's death. Esterich's car hit some gravel halfway through the race, causing him to crash and injure himself seriously. McHenry's steering failed for unclear reasons, causing the car to lose control and crash into a tree. Both of these incidents were blamed on salvage Dean's spider parts. The Spider, now labeled a cursed vehicle, was sold to George Barris, the famous Hollywood custom car designer who had first customized the automobile. Though he attempted to repair it, he shortly discovered that it was beyond repair. Instead, he opted to make the car available for presentations. From there, things only became creepier. The automobile was rumored to be at the center of several significant mishaps over the next few years. Unconfirmed tales began to circulate of garages burning down around it, people being crushed by it while it was being transported, exhibitions collapsing while it was being presented, and other incidents. 
To top it all off, the vehicle's remains vanished in 1960 while being transported from Miami to Los Angeles. Nobody knows where the spider went to this day. While the conspiracy theories surrounding Dean's death are somewhat improbable, the ultimate destiny of his car provides a lot more information. People continue to visit the crash site of James Dean's death and leave memorials such as booze and women's undergarments. I hope you enjoyed this tribute to a wonderful person. What memories do you have about them? Let me know in the comments section below and I'll be sure to read them. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and click the notification bell to get more videos just like this one.